my God, I can't believe it. I had a dream last night, and this is the first dream I had like this, where I met our two baby boys. Hello, everybody. Today is very exciting because it's not only a travel vlog, it is a baby vlog, and <gasps> I can't believe the day has finally come. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so... Oh my gosh, I, sorry, I'm shirtless, but Shane just came running downstairs to show us the surrogate head. She's pregnant! She's pregnant! <laughs> and this is only four days, no, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, four days post transfer. I know, like, we're supposed to wait 10 days until her, like, official test. When she was pregnant previously, she tested positive on day five and day six. And today is day four, and she's just taking them, like, herself, and she's pregnant. She had been telling us, like, we've been in contact every day since we met her, and she's like, I've definitely been very nauseous, very tired, and very hungry, which are the symptoms that I had the previous two times that I was pregnant. Oh my god, I can't believe it. Sorry, I'm just texting her, I don't know. Ah, okay, that's all for now. Okay, I have some things to say. <laughs> I guess Shane was processing at first. It's so, so crazy. The dogs are fighting. They're just so excited. You guys better be nice to our babies. Do you remember what when I woke up? and I came downstairs and I said I had a dream last night and this is the first dream I had like this where I met our two baby boys. I met them and one of them was riding Riley and like we were playing with them and having fun. I just, it was so real. I didn't really think about it. I was just like, okay, my brain is, you know, whatever. And then just now I was filming a vlog. I was in the closet talking. And I was talking about how I hate what I look like right now. And then I said, well, who cares? I'm about to be a dad. And then ding, my phone went off and it was her saying she's pregnant. And then I started thinking, what if in my dream? I did meet the babies in the dream and what if they were coming to the dream to say hi? Like, hi, we're here. I like cannot believe it. My phone was down here on the charger. So when Shane ran down, Stairs, I was like, what? 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 what happened? No, I ran downstairs and I was like, Dad, Dad. Sorry, this is so weird. Calm down. But I mean, here. Dad. And I was like, Dad, Dad, Dad. And then you were just like, you started getting mad because you're like, what? What? Because he was taking so long I'm upstairs like, getting ready. And we're going to film wait. for him. And then I said, did you not look at your phone? You're like, it's upstairs. And then I said, I showed you. Acting like I'm so cranky. Okay, so we have a lot of baby clothes to buy. <laughs> no, now today we actually have to go to Target because we haven't made it there yet. And I want to get like more than just clothes. I want to like stroller, stroller. Oh my God. I thought there was a fucking rat or something the way you jumped like that. No, it's just my baby list. <laughs> yes, we'll go to Target uh, after we go to dinner and stuff tonight. Okay, so we have my baby list, our baby list. Sorry. We've already done this once. It's like deja vu because remember the other day when we did this and then we flopped and none of the baby stores were open? Right, well, because it wasn't meant to be. Today's the day. And now it's like ultra exciting. Like we were shopping for a purpose before, but now it's like, we're pregnant, bitch. Wow, what are we gonna do? We were like, oh, we're gonna go see a movie. And now it's like, we're literally gonna have babies. I mean, we knew we were gonna have babies, but the confirmation is just that much better, you know? Don't we have to wait? Cause it, something bad could happen. But well, nothing bad will happen cause the universe, we're not letting that happen. We're not a typical pregnancy, you know? Like normally, People wouldn't say they're pregnant for I think three months into their pregnancy. We've already, it's already out there. The, the embryo transfer had happened. So now people are gonna be like, well, what are, what's the results? You know, we'll play it by ear. Oh my gosh. Wow. Hello everybody. Today is very exciting because it's not only a travel vlog, it is a baby vlog and I can't believe the day has finally come. We're going to Seattle where our surrogate is for our six week, for us, seven week ultrasound. We'll hopefully get to hear the heartbeat or heartbeats. We'll find out if there's one or two embryos brewing. I think get a due date as well. I mean, what do you want me to say? Brewing, cooking, brewing. developing? You don't like when I say cooking. That's horrible. I know. So what brewing. do you- Growing. Growing. Uh, no, this is the craziest experience of my whole life. This is a moment that we've been waiting for forever and I can't believe it's happening. It's like in the movies, like where they like, and then they put the thing on and they go. <laughs> I mean, I saw there's two. There's vaginal one that goes up or it's the. And then they're gonna be like, boop, 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 boop. and we're gonna be like, oh, and, and hopefully, then I'm gonna lose my mind. Hopefully, boop, 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 too. But also, everything happens for a reason. We're putting out good energy, but also, you know, anything could happen. Whatever God wants for us is what it's gonna be. I'm honestly gonna be over the moon no matter what. I can't believe it. 
This is crazy. We want to document this because we think it's cool for our kids to look back at one day. And also for other people for that are guys, doing this, yeah. But also like, we don't want to be too invasive. Be too weird, so. But we're gonna vlog the journey. Like you'll still get the travel experience, the updates that we get. You'll still get how much we hate the plane. You'll <laughs> still get how nauseous Shane gets. How beautiful Washington is in summertime when it's, hopefully we'll get some clear days. I hear it's like amazing, gorgeous, beautiful there right now. Yeah, it's hot. I mean, it's hot here too. I know, that's the only problem. I wish our babies were growing in the winter. Oh, please. We're just blessed that there's babies growing. I gotta keep packing. We gotta get out of here in 30 minutes. I'm gonna be on time. Do you think our babies will be late like you or on time and early like No, you? I can't even with you. Lately, I've been the first one out the door and I'm backing out the car honking at you. So I'm not even gonna pretend that you're more on time than me because lately, you're not. We're not gonna fight in front of the children. They're watching this in the future. <laughs> okay, we're bye. not gonna do it. All right, your girlies have made it to the airport. And we're off to Washington. Wow, this is crazy. I can't stop thinking about it. Normally Shane is a pretty big nightmare on travel days. And he's like, you know what? I don't even care about the traveling. He's like, we're going to such a big event that the traveling doesn't even matter. And that is big for him. instead of Ubering because we're about an hour away from where we need to be. And there's a casino. And there's so a casino really close. The Shane's all fired up on the casino. We'll stop there. We should put a bunch of money down on their birthday. <gasps> okay, I have ideas. This is a dad car. The girls sure. have a forerunner. This is the most dad car. <laughs> wow, it's like utilitarian. It's like, we gotta go on some mountains. Ooh, you gotta turn that air on. Well, first I gotta figure out how to even get my foot up to the gas pedal. Okay, I guess we gotta figure out where, oh, no sunroof. <laughs> Let me figure out where we're going. Okay, we have our rental car, our forerunner. The AC is right. That's my new thing. Something's right. This be looking right. The AC <laughs> is right. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> wow, the sunset here is beautiful. That is not a California sunset. And it is so green here. Okay, we're going to Crumbles or a Casino. We have to make a choice. I mean, I'm down to go to Crumbles into the hotel, but if you want to gamble it up, I will rally for you. What? We're going to Casino. Oh, brother. Okay, quick pit stop. Crumble. It is so gorgeous here. It's so green. There's so many trees. It's just like stunning. We're losing light. Well, the light turned off right as I opened the box. Oh, I guess here. Oh no! How do I turn these lights oh, on? Oh no! Oh, oh, you need to hurry. Ah. Oh, I need to eat it. Oh, I look so good. They can't see them. Just tilt them. Oh, I don't want to fall them. <laughs> look at the twins! <laughs> that is wow. so cute. Are we really doing a taste test of all of these I'm right so now? I'm so hungry. Well, then we have to do the twins first. Oh, well, oh. I thought we were going to save that one, but I guess, yeah, we could do that too. Is it bad to separate them? I'll try to leave them no, in the same we'll corner. Eat one. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep them in the same corner, in the same embryo. But I want to eat a twin. Look at them. How They're can we? so cute. They're so cute. Oh, it kind of cuts the light off. <laughs> Is it so good? I'm not just saying this because we're having babies. Best cookie crumble has ever fucking made, no ever. Way. Let me try it. Ever. <laughs> Hurry. Oh shit. Are they going to charge me for crumbles in the car? <laughs> it's so fucking good, huh? Mm. Like, what's the first time I had them? Oh my gosh. Teddy grams are so underrated. And I haven't had a Teddy gram in a long time. Wow. I can't believe it. Every element of this cookie is incredible. That's a sign. This is a sign mm. that everything's gonna be okay. Equating cookies to everything being okay. That's <laughs> life, baby. That's how we're gonna raise our kids. Mm. You can just take a bite of the whole thing. It's not good. You let down. All right, we'll try the rest of the hotel. <laughs> girls we made it to Washington and we've got to the hotel room but all the restaurants are closed at 9 p.m. what are your girls gonna eat I don't know what are we gonna eat we have a lot of options we do no. oh my gosh <laughs> now there's a few places well I wanted to give a quick hotel room tour okay hello it'll be real quick <laughs> I mean, it's nice. No, it is nice. It's just like, <laughs> not much to see. <laughs> okay, bathroom. Bathroom. Living room. Bedroom. That's it. 
Hello girlies, good morning, and welcome to Olympia, Washington, the state capital of Washington, if I'm correct. <laughs> Judging by looking out the window, it's gloomy with a tiny bit of drizzle. Someone's being mean to me already. I just woke <laughs> I know, but I brought him coffee. He tasted it and he's like, Bleh. and I go, well, there's a lot of cafes next door. <laughs> oh, there are a lot of cafes. Are there a lot of bistros? Yes, there are, in fact. Ooh. A lot of delicatessens. <laughs> Stupid. This is the shame of last night. Crumble. Jack in the box. Burger King. Listen, we, well, I really just woke up. We got into a fight last night because he was like, Burger King, Burger King. And I was like, Jack in the box, Jack in the box. So then he goes, baby. Just order whatever you want while he's on his phone. He's smiling and I'm like, okay, fine, Jack and Bucks. I hand him the phone, he goes, oh, Jack and Bucks. And then he orders. And then I'm like, you know what? Fuck you, let's just also order Burger King. And he's like, you can't do that. And then I'm mad about that. that too, cause then it's like two different fast food joints are coming to the hotel and I said, delivery. Bitch, did you just meet me? We're ordering both. So then we order a Burger King. Burger King comes first. Guess what? It sucks. They forgot their sauce. Forgot the sauce. It was dry as fuck. The chicken sandwich, it was not hot hurt as fuck. It was dry as fuck, it was gross as fuck. Jack in the Box comes and it was right. So good. And he's just like, wow, Jack in the Box is everything. And I was like, you're never allowed to make decisions ever. Again. I just, for some reason, I have this thing against Jack in the Box, but then every time I eat it, I like it. So I don't know. I need, it's something I need that to work good? through. <laughs> well, the good sauce, the spicy good sauce. Mm. <laughs> but now I feel sick because, like, I didn't process before I went to bed and now it's still just like, Pfft. happy um, Tuesday. Okay. The girlies are ready. We're headed out the door. And oh my God. I don't think I've ever been excited at eight in the morning. Like, I don't think that's ever happened. And he didn't even complain about like waking up or being tired or anything. Okay, let's okay. go. Okay, okay. Okay, we got way too excited. Left the hotel very early. So now we're at Target looking at baby things. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so. It's twins, it's twins! Oh my gosh, that was such a surreal experience. And right when we walk in the room. Well, okay, even before that, we were too early, so we went to Target nearby and we went to the baby clothes. I found a cute onesie and he's like, well, get a matching one. We're manifesting. And I was, I was like, okay, so I'm looking for a matching one and I can't find it. And I'm starting to panic. And I'm like, oh my gosh, what does this mean? Is this a bad sign? And then boom, out of nowhere, I found a matching Winnie the Pooh set. And I was like, it just felt like magic. Then we walk into the um, lobby and right away a song starts playing and it was just the two of us. It was crazy. We can make it, if we try. it was crazy. I almost started crying right in the lobby and I was like, oh my gosh. When's the last time you've just heard that song Never. randomly either? It's like, what? It was like the craziest moment ever. And then yeah, we were we went into the room. We filmed a little bit like just on our iPhones. And when they turned on the camera. <laughs> Hello, daddies. Yep, yes. we can see it as well. Okay, okay. Whoa. There's two. She's good at reading all the time. <laughs> so they're separate sex, twins. Just these are fraternal twins. Right away. Right away. Too. Right away. And I said, what does that mean? Because I didn't know what I was like looking. I knew what I was looking at, but I was like, I don't want to misread this. And I'm like, what does that mean? The assistant next to him just went, there's two. And I was like, <laughs> When we heard the heartbeat. That was what like, oh my gosh, it got me and I'm just like, whoa. And there's the baby with heartbeat. And yeah, he said everything looked good. They looked healthy. The heartbeats were strong. The measurements were good. We're still early in our pregnancy, but everything is on track, you know? And we even asked him, we're like, when should we tell people? And he said, you know, it's a personal decision because there's always a chance of something happening, but with our surrogate's history and with everything, it looks really good. You know, it's kind of up to us. And then Rylan looks up and is like, look at that piece of art. And on the wall, there was a piece of art of a woman with twins. Oh my gosh, crazy. We still have to process and I don't even know when this video will go up. Like we might still wait a while. Right now we're just, we're two days shy of seven weeks pregnant. 
We did the six week ultrasound a little later just because I had family in town and we wanted to be here. Like we wanted to experience this. This is crazy. What are we gonna do? <sighs> I don't know. I can't get on a plane. I'm like- We could stay in Seattle tonight if we wanted. Oh I don't know. We'll process and uh, check back in later. <laughs> Okay, so we decided we didn't want to jump on a plane immediately after, you know, just the best day ever. <laughs> so we came up to downtown Seattle and we got a room here. We haven't gotten in. Sorry, there's people, I guess. I think this is the exact room Morgan and I stayed in years ago. Oh my God, the bathroom. <gasps> Look at the view, it looks like Dawson's Creek. <laughs> There's a Ferris wheel! We should take it. Mm. <laughs> a few years ago, if you've been with me for a while, I did like throwing a dart and map and going wherever it lands. And Morgan and I ended up in Seattle and we stayed at this exact hotel. And you know what? I think it's the same exact room. Oh my. Oh, I love the marble. Oh, they have an espresso machine. No, me more. He already has the nuts. <laughs> Oh my god. Wow. Oh my gosh, we've got wine, we've got snacks, we've got espresso. Woo! Whoa, mine is so good. What's yours? Non alcoholic something? Avocado pineapple? Mine just says the best margarita they make. And I can confirm, it's delicious. Ooh, that is gorgeous. That is some kind of beautiful. We're back! Oh gosh. Wow, she's bigger. <laughs> 